Hi, I'm Mark Guzmano, and this is my entry for the Sencha 2020 Mission Open Architect Hackathon, XJS Designer. XJS Designer is a Visual Studio Code extension that allows for visual editing of XJS views. It's available in the Visual Studio Marketplace and can be installed in the Visual Studio Code or VS Code Editor. If you need to install VS Code, visit code.visualstudio/download. So I have installed and have opened an empty instance of VS Code. You'll notice in the menu on the left an item named Extensions. Click on that item. The Extensions pane is then displayed. In the Search Extension in Marketplace, type EXTJSDESIGNER or XJS Designer. The XJS D Designer extension is then listed. Click on the Install button. The XJS Designer will load and a welcome dialog will appear. This dialog is used to create an XJS Designer test project. To create this project, click the Create button in the dialog. VS Code will reopen the XJS Designer with the project in the Explorer and will open the Hackathon Help in the Editor pane. Follow the instructions for Use Case 1 and click the SimpleView.js file in the Explorer. The XJS Designer Visual Editor will appear. To have more room for the Designer, collapse the File Explorer by clicking on the Explorer button in the menu. Let's take a quick tour of the designer. The property editor allows you to change property values of your view. The component tree shows the object hierarchy of the selected item in the design pane. The center area has two panes, a design pane and a code pane. They can be arranged top to bottom, left to right, just design, or just code. The Hackathon Quick Start pane has instructions for a quick tour of the designer. The Components pane displays components that can be dragged onto the design pane. Now let's change a property. In the Property Editor filter, type title. Change the title property and press Enter. Notice the change in both the design pane and the code pane. Now, clear the filter, if you wish. Next, edit the title in the code pane. Click Save. Again, notice the change in the design pane and the code pane. Now, drag components to the design pane. Drag a button to the button toolbar. And another button. Notice that the code pane is being updated as components are dragged to the design pane. In the main area of the view, drag a text field. Then, drag a date field. Again, notice the code pane is updated. Now let's look at selecting items in the design pane. As you hover your mouse over the design pane, notice a red highlight box. Now select the component. Notice the green selection highlight. Also notice that the description below the design pane and the component tree have changed to reflect the currently selected item. Also notice a callout to the top of the selected item. And notice a cog icon to the right. Click on the cog. The area can be used for additional context or frequently edited properties. I hope you've enjoyed your tour of the XJS Designer VS Code extension. Feel free to try Use Case 2 and Use Case 3 described in the information editor of the sample project. Also, Note the key features implemented in the XJS Designer, such as the fact that it's built 
as a VS Code custom editor extension, that it integrates with the current Sencha VS Code plugin extension, that it does not use metadata, that it has a very modular design, and uses web components and Sencha's X web components to design for the UI, and that it uses the ext, ext.js documentation output called Doxy for properties, methods, events, and integrated documentation. Thank you.